I did a lot of investigation into it many years ago, and and years ago before, you know, when inflation wasn't nearly as high as it is now, it was like twenty five thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars to get ten thousand dollars to fifty thousand. Let's just say it that way to get set up offshore. So why would you want to do that? You know, and um, when the SAR is announced, all corporations are going bye-bye. Corporations are entities set up to take on the personality of a real person and uh, or an entity, and it relieves all the um, uh, participants in that corporation. It relieves them of any legal liability. Uh, you know, and of course, there's so many manipulations in a corporation, it's unbelievable. So people hide behind the shield of the corporation, and they look what Enron did with the people, you know, and... Uh, they they really put the screws to everybody in the utility market, and that was a corporation. Well, all corporations are of the dark agenda. We're, our country is being run by a dark agenda corporation, and none of these personal ent- uh, people are uh, having to take any legal responsibility or lawful responsibility for any of their actions. So please give strong consideration to be glad that you were born in the USA and that we're going to get our country back, and so are 180 other countries or thereabouts are going to be, become sovereign and have their own countries back. So why would you want to go offshore, my dear? Try to ask that of yourself, and um, if you can answer it, good. If you can't, you know, I've got an old saying, when in doubt, don't. Does, does that help at all, dear? Yes, it does. Thanks, Carol. You're very welcome. And... And there are no stupid questions or any bad questions or anything like that. There's a lot of misconception about that kind of thing. And that fellow from the white hat guy, you know, on that one conference call that night, he said, oh, you're going to have to take your DNR offshore and and hope you can find a bank that will cash it in. You better get with a tax attorney. Well, all attorneys are going to be gone, folks. They are all subjects of Britain, the crown of England. And they are not working on your behalf or in your behalf. And they are they owe their allegiance uh, to the the crown, and they are no longer u s citizens and When this thing happens, they'll be lucky if they can get a minimum wage job, but they're going to be kept so far away of making any laws or any controlling anything lawful or legal or any other way they're going down the tube. so please stay as far as you can away from attorneys at this point if you can put your tail between your feet and run. <laughs> Carol, let me ask you this. Um, what about, you know how, like, uh, with with brokers how and licensed brokers, how they would have to be fingerprinted and background checked before they would be able to become a broker? Are they going to institute something like that for, for the people who will be in charge of the bankers or the depositories, as they might be known? Probably not. Okay, so um, they, won't, they won't do turnaround on, on what they did to the brokers, so to speak. Now, what do you mean by turn around with the broker? Well, I mean by making them get fingerprinted and and all their licenses and everything to to be. There won't be any licenses, honey. Okay, you might want to maybe go into that then. Yeah, all licensing will go away. All like if you want a building permit, you don't have to get a building permit to build a house on a piece of ground that you own. You won't have to get a permit to drill a water well on your property, your own property. Uh, all that kind of stuff, we're going to be sovereign. We're going to be a free people, and we're not going to know how to act as a free person. We've never been free before. We've been controlled and abused. We're financial slaves. So it's all going to be new to all of us, and I don't have all of the answers, but I do know that all this so-called government control over us is going bye-bye, and it is we're going to be living a totally different paradigm than we've ever known or imagined. And it may not be an easy shift, but they're going to try and make it as easy on us as possible. But licensing, uh, the sheriff is going to be the only um, uh, law enforcement. They are the highest law enforcement right now, but they don't know it. There's a fellow by the name of Richard Mack. And I know know we discussed it last night, Carol, but, you know, like licenses and fishing license and driver's license and these types of licenses. You know, a gentleman did bring up a good point last night about, you know, um, people driving drinking and driving and not having a license. I mean, is there going to be some sort of um, ID recognition, I guess, 
or maybe that's a poor choice of words that would, um, you know, be for for us as the people, uh, for each individual state or or entity that we we live in. You know, that's such a good question, honey, and I don't have a real down pat answer as far as what I understand. Just told, oh my gosh. Okay. I forgot to put star 70 on my call to block all these calls. I, I'm sorry about that. I did hear from one okay. of my... Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. My phone does it, too. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to answer that the best I can. I don't want to scare you, uh, and I don't know how I feel about this, but I have been told, uh, I think most of you are, are familiar with an eye print. All of our irises are like our fingerprint. They're unique to our own bodies. And uh, I've heard that we're going to be um, given identification by our eye print. I don't know. I do not know. I don't know how they're going to handle passports. I do, and, and I think there will be passports because of country boundaries and things like that. I don't know how this is all going to come down. I've always felt, okay, I really don't need to know these things because it will be after the fact and we'll learn about it when they make the announcements and the education. So I kind of leave it at that. Uh, but uh, last well, that brings that brings the question. Another one: What about something like college degrees? You know, people going to the college. Let me just finish with the car thing first, Sorry. and then go to the college thing, if you don't mind. Um, uh, last night, I mentioned uh, about the Mercedes car advertisements on TV, and I think the Lexus or Infinity, one of the two, are doing the same thing. Um, and there very well may be other cars that are doing the same thing. I can't remember if BMW uh, or Subaru, I can't remember. Just keep an eye out for these cars. I do know that Mercedes is doing this, but they have something, it's like a, uh, you know how the dolphins and the whales and everything have sonar and they don't bump into anything unless they're disturbed, you know, by bombings and things like that. They have what they call sonar. And... uh, They've got some kind of mechanism similar to that in the Mercedes where it won't run into anything. If a deer runs across the road, it will pick it up and it will slow your car down and stop it if necessary before it hits anything. So there's that technology, and we're just seeing the forerunner of some of the extraordinary technologies. And and like you are familiar with your friend Ron that's been putting out about the technologies for free energy and health and healing the body and everything like that. I haven't had a chance to listen to that call yet again, but I heard him the first time he was on with you guys. And I, I, I thought, boy, you're a brave son of a gun to come out at this point. With all that, we must be very close to the announcement, you know, because somebody like him would be at risk by putting that much information out. Um, they have taken people out for less than what he's put out. But... The technology is there, and, and the technology, folks, is so extraordinary that it's coming down the pike. It's, it, I think we're going to see things that are even surpassing Tesla's uh, technology that's been suppressed all these years. So I think we're going to be okay on that kind of a front, okay? Now, the college situation, the educational situation, as far as I know, our educational system is so corrupt, it's going down the tubes. We're not going to have a federally run or even um, state run educational system as far as I have been made aware of. I think the educational system is going to be administered locally in your own communities. We have a great deal. I think all of you are familiar that there are families that homeschool their children because they don't want them to have all this programming that's been indoctrinating our children for years and years. So a lot of parents are homeschooling the children. There's all kinds of homeschooling programs you can subscribe to and administer through the computer and help your child, and then they send somebody out to test the the child and so forth. So I think you're going to see more more of that. There are are schools like the Waldorf schools and the Montessori schools. Uh, I think the Waldorf schools are held in higher esteem by those of us that are looking for uh, honesty and education and freedom and that type of thing and, and dealing with children in a better way than <clears throat> what we've been doing for years. So um, higher education is going to be a matter of choice and people finding out the truth. All of the educational system, as far as I know, is going to be totally revamped because 
most of it is uh, false history. I mean, look at what how they've shielded knowledge about the the way that the black people have helped found our country. I mean, there are very many black people that have been absolutely extraordinarily contributors, extraordinary contributors to advancement of industry and technology and things like that. There's a fellow by the name of Washington, a black man. I can't remember his first name now. It's been years since I thought about him, but if you um, do a search on the Internet for a black man named Washington Inventor uh, or put Washington Inventor or Inventor slash Washington or whatever, however you want to do it in the search, he had thousands, I think, hundreds of or thousands of of, um, of inventions that has helped our country. But that's all been suppressed. They have not given the black people the credit due for what they've contributed to our country. And so, and there's so much disinformation in our history books about who we are, where we came from, and, and the true history of not only our country but the world. That that's going away too. The truth is going to come out. So, it, you know, as you're seeing these colleges and uh, the the tuition fees going sky high, and and the uh, boards and the chancellors just doing unbelievable things to hurt people out here in California, Jerry Brown, our governor, did something. So I got so angry, and, and of course I have to slap my face and chain my hand to the to the wall or something to keep myself from making phone calls and writing letters to the editor because I'm trying to take a, a stance of behind the half wall and observe, you know, and, and not be the indigo that I've been for years and years fighting for justice. But he did something I thought was extremely uncalled for. He, he instituted a couple months ago what they called, I, I think they call it the Dream Act out here in California where they're allowing illegal aliens to acquire government help with education in our universities and colleges out here. Now, a month or two later after he institutes this, he's cutting back the he's cutting back uh, all funding for colleges and, and high schools and everything. I mean, you just see the dark agenda. I thought Arnold Schwarzenegger was tanking our state in a very, very bad way. I thought he was a rotten governor. And then Jerry Brown, who I thought would do a really good job because he's been governor before and he has always been for the people, he comes in and does something like that. You're seeing all kinds of nonsense happening in this country, I'm telling you. Carol, I have a question for you. Yeah, okay, Pam, honey, go ahead. With, you say that these countries that have, this is now leaked out to, all these countries, including us, want to be sovereign. Could this be why they're pushing the um, oil pipelines They've been trying to do that for a long time. Katrina was done by Bush and Cheney, okay? Um, I could tell you a long story about Katrina. I'm not going to get into it tonight. Katrina was an act of the dark agenda, Bush and Cheney, because they want to control that particular port in the Gulf. It's one of the main ports where a lot of oil comes into the United States. Um, these guys, this military-industrial complex or industrial-military complex, however you want to frame it, uh, it's all. It's been about money and generating wars and and driving up the oil uh, prices and and oil drilling, and <clears throat> it's um, it's it's just one of their things. That's what they're all about, lining their pockets with money for themselves. And well, what uh, I was wondering is if we do these start drilling here and do the oil pipelines then that would keep us even more sovereign and not depend on these foreign countries for oil. No. We we have more oil in reserves right now than any of the other foreign countries are uh, even capable of. There's a tremendous amount of oil uh, being held for our country. And what they're trying to do, this dark agenda, is use up the oil uh, reserves 